Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing Stray and talking exactly where to find the eight sheets of uh, music that uh, are acquired by one of the robots in the slums area. So, first of all, the first place we're going to go is if we're standing by Guardian, which is where you're going to be the first time you're able to sort of go and explore the slums properly. And if we just turn around, uh, we can see that that big orange sign up there, that is Momo's uh, apartment, and that's the first place we're going to go to find the number one uh, song sheet. So here we are inside Momo's apartment, and the place we need to go is uh, just through here, into his little hallway area, and opposite a closed door there's one that's got some bars at the bottom, so we go in here, and we want to jump up to here, onto these boxes, and here we have sheet music number one. So that's inside this room with the bars on the door. Now, we've just come down from Momo's, we came down that little bucket slide, and the place to find the song sheet number two is almost directly opposite. It's at that sort of balcony table area that's overlooking uh, the street. Here we are, we're just going to come across the balcony now, we're going to jump along this pipe, and we can just hop up here, and we can hop onto the table, and here's sheet number two. Now the way to get number three and number eight are kind of linked in a little way. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop in uh, and down this little side street for near, that was near Guardian. Uh, this is Morusk, the guy you're catch, uh, you know, collecting the song sheets for. And if we just proceed around the corner here, the far end of the alley, we'll find this locked safe. And this is where we're going to find the song sheet number eight in at the end of the video. But we're going to take this mysterious password for now. And what we're going to do, we're going to go to the place where you find song sheet number three and the clue behind the passcode. So, to find number three, we need to come to this door on the ground level of the slums. And it's near, it's just around the corner from the bar. You can see the neon sign for the bar there. And to get into here, what we need to do, we need to scratch on the door. Get this to get in. And someone comes and opens the door. We can now come through. And number three song sheet is just here, next to the painting here, so we're going to take that. And remember that passcode I mentioned. What we need to do, we need to go upstairs in this room, into this new area. And then this is Elliot, and he's a computer expert. We need to speak to him, and he should help us with the clue for the uh, number eight. We need to show him this mysterious password. So here he tells us it means do for bar. So that's all we need for now. We'll come back to that at the end of the video. So for now we're going to go and find the fourth piece of sheet music. So to get the fourth piece of sheet music we need to buy it from a merchant and the currency we need is this soft drinks machine. And the easiest one to find is opposite Marusk there uh, where we uh, just went past to find the safe just now. So what we do is we just tap at one of these buttons. This can of soft drink pops out so we're going to take that. And then we're going to head right over the way, so past Guardian and down the opposite flight of stairs. And we're going to talk to the merchant here. And he's, there's Inspect Music Sheet. This is number four. So we'll talk to him quickly. One energy drink can. So what we're going to yeah. So we're going to go into our inventory, press the energy drink can, and we've gained Sheet Music number four. Now sheet music number 5 and 8 again are, are somewhat linked in terms of location. So the next thing we're going to do is go into the bar. So we've come down uh, from Guardian, down from the lift, straight ahead, and the bar is here on the left. Door's already open. Um, now this is the doofer bar, and you remember that was the code we got from uh, the password bit of paper. So what you need to do to find the passcode for the safe, we just you come up to this picture, press Q, or whatever button is on a gamepad, and there we go, there's the code. So we're going to remember 1283. We'll do that at the end of the video. But it's, it's worth doing while we're here. And then to find number five piece of sheet music, just run upstairs in the bar, and it's right here on this table. Right, so for sheet music number six, what happens is we, uh, we jump up from the bar. Basically, we're on the roof of the bar at the moment. And the path up here is, is sort of where that neon sign is. You kind of jump up, hop up here, and we're going to go in that room uh, with the yellow lantern hanging outside. 
I just jump on the pipes, go in here, and all we do is we're going to go straight through this door here with the little holes in, and the sheet music we want is just here, on his uh, bookshelf next to the bed. Number six. Right, the seventh uh, piece of sheet music is actually in a, in a place where you will go during the, the main quest. Um, but basically, if, if that, you see Momo's apartment is up there, and it's just opposite. And it's got this uh, outsider sign, this sort of blue sign with the, the mouth and two eyes outside it. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump onto the balcony, uh, we're going to enter the, the flat, and the sheet music is on the piano that we can find, which is here, in this bit. So there it is. Jump up onto the piano, and we're going to take sheet music seven of eight. And finally, as we discussed earlier, the eighth piece of sheet music is in the safe that's around the corner from Morusk. Um, now we have the code for the, uh, the safe, so we're going to enter that. It's 1283. There we go, and that opens, and we get number 8 of 8, sheet music. And we're right up close to Morusk, so all we have to do is come around the corner to him, and, yeah, start to give him the sheet music. So there you go. That's how you find the 8 pieces of sheet music in Stray. Hope that was useful. If it was, please do like the video and consider subscribing to the channel as well. And I'll hopefully see you again for more content on Boring Dad Gaming. Bye for now.